Okay, so <clears throat> today, today's Fresh Friday recommendation from me to you is a super awesome box set from my favorite, one of my favorite record companies that I've told you about before called Numero Group. They're based in Chicago and they are kind of famous for doing super comprehensive uh, reissues of odd records, um, mostly uh, American records, um, but they also, they, they started to branch out more internationally lately. And, um, and they have just the most beautiful artwork and they have, uh, they did that really cool series uh, that we used to love um, where Sweet Pea by Alterio Dino Brown um, is Eccentric Soul is the series. I think I told you about it before. Anyway, um, Alterio Dino Brown, Sweet Pea. The Sweet Pea is what they call me. Beautiful song. So, uh, Eccentric Soul, great series, Numero Group, they're the best. I bought some of their records uh, back when I was at uh, the Pitchfork Music Festival working there. Anyway, they released an, uh, a record in our, a, a, a compilation, a 3LP compilation in October of 2016 named Bobo Yeye, Belle Epoque in Upper Volta. So, um, it's a little bit of a long title, but basically, it's a an incredible collection of music in a really specific time in uh, in Africa. Um, basically, there was a, a, a self governing French colony in um, in the kind of area near Senegal, Niger, and Cote d'Ivoire uh, called Upper Volta, and uh, it was it was a, a self governing colony from the late fifties through the early eighties. And so the 60s and 70s, um, there was a time where the, the kind of um, capital city called Bobo Dialasso became a bustling kind of cosmopolitan metropolis. And so uh, you can imagine it was the 1960s and 70s, so there was a lot of other musical influences going on. This is when there was a huge boom um, of popular music. Um, that's actually where the name Bobo Yeye comes from. Is Bobo is the, the city, Bobo Dialasso, and then Yeye is French Yeye, which is what the French people called um, kind of the pop music of the time that was spearheaded by the Beatles. Um, but uh, Yeye being like that, like kind of um, sock hop 60s um, pop music that was going on. And so uh, basically, the music was such a vibrant collection of so many different things that was happening in Africa and in, in France. And the music on this record, dude, it's just, it's so joyful. It's so incredibly, uh, they were, they were, they were self-governing. This was a, they, they were run by the French from 1912 until 1958. And then they had this like 25 year period where they were just doing their own thing. And this was where the music came. And actually, um, in 1983, uh, this guy named Thomas Sankara, you know, there was a whole coup d'etat and he took over and imposed a curfew and it killed the music scene. Um, and that's when they became Burkina Faso. Um, but anyway, in this time, the music uh, bands that are featured on here, they're like Volta Jazz um, is one of the main bands. Um, Kula Bobby, uh, T. Diane and Dafra Star. I'm hoping I'm getting these right. Anyway, Echo del Africa and Les Imbattables Leopard, which means the unbeatable leopards. These are the bands that were playing at the time. These are the, the kind of titans of this, of this scene. Um, but the kind of influences you'll see are like African polyrhythms with French yeah, yeah, as I mentioned. A, a lot of American R&B, um, Roomba from the Congo. There's also a cool usage of the balafon, which is a wooden xylophone that is very uh, common in that region. Um, there's some Cuban rhythms like Latin stuff, Malian folk. It's not too far from Mali. There's super uh, fuzzed out psychedelic guitars, a lot of Western instruments, and vocal harmonies just all in this. It's like basically like the spectrum of African sunlight, everything that I love about music from Africa 
all pouring out of this incredibly unique, vibrant music scene that of, of a culture and of a time that we'll never see again, that was so unique unto itself that all that all of this energy was squeezed out and and is so incredibly inspiring. So dude, you just have to listen from the beginning and put it on, especially when the sun is shining. Um, I have just had such an amazing time putting this on. It's it's the kind of thing where, where everyone that I've played it for wants to know, what is this? Who 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 is this? Every song, so different, so unique. Uh, I'm absolutely in love with it. And I'm actually, after doing deep research on this record, I'm going to totally dive in and get the spin, spur, splurge and, and spend the 80 bucks and get the whole deluxe vinyl set. It's got a 120-page book in there with a hundred plus pictures from this guy, uh, Sori Sun Lei, who was capturing the fashion of the time. There's a lot of people on motorcycles holding guitars, all kinds of cool stuff. Just an incredible gem of African musical and cultural history. Bobo Yeye, Belle Epoque in Upper Volta from Numero Group. This is well over the five minutes that you told me it should be, but... I just can't see it myself. Love you, bro. Il est de mini, voilà voilà mi villa, il est connu les mignons. Il est de mini, son nom est mi villa, il est connu les mignons. Nibi donc, ibi era fré, iti mogo jani, jera ira mani, nibi tagama, ibi era fré.